Should an armed drone be dispatched to kill Christopher Dorner? Written by Glenn Greenwald in the Guardian.co. Subtitle is uh, the caption, Why should the lives of law enforcement agents be risked to apprehend the su- su- suspected domestic terrorist? Wow. Just like uh, a lot of people have been uh, speculating for a long time, the armed drones, the discussion is happening in America. Uh, it's It's been started by... Uh, several people but one of them is Aaron Burnett on CNN made uh, some ridiculous statements questions um, very dangerous and you can see it happening just like uh, we've been speaking about on our show two hotheads where activism happens they're now talking about uh, armed drones in America to, to take out this uh, this this former police officer this former LA police officer Christopher Dorner, who's gone uh, on a rampage and killed several people. It's just amazing that uh, the reasons why we shouldn't have drones aren't listed in that article from Glenn Greenwald. They really aren't listed. He he, he kind of uh, pretends he's, he's doing a balanced article, but uh, I don't know if it's the writer or the editors, more likely the editors, but um, it just not uh, doesn't give a lot of explanations, a lot of information like about the fact that uh, you know, it, it, it talks about uh, um, one drone attack in a foreign country, um, Alawaki, but it doesn't talk about his son who was also uh, killed in a drone strike, and uh, it, you know, with no oversight, with no, with not, not nothing there. There was no, uh, there's no information given. The only information given is from the. Uh, White House press secretary who makes one statement that the kid uh, should have had a better father and uh, that was the one statement and then they don't want to talk about it. There's no tr- evidence presented, there's no jury, there's no reason listed why they had to uh, send a drone strike in to attack this barbecue and kill a bunch of people including a 16 year old. Um, this has happened quite frequently, hundreds and hundreds of times, and there's no oversight. We don't even know who these people are that are being killed. And uh, as Ron Paul said in uh, some of his you know, election debates, he, he basically made the statement that the reason why these terrorists exist is because of blowback. It's because of actions like this. When you drone strike and kill someone's father, yeah, there's a good likelihood that their children will grow up later as adults to want to attack the United States. What, that's Imagine if China had drones in this country and was killing people with drones. With no trial, no evidence presented. What would their children do? Their children are going to want to fight China. I mean, this is, this is human nature, and we continue in, to ignore nature, human nature. We, we, we pretend that, we're, that these drone strikes are making us safe in foreign countries where they're not. Uh, we pretend that uh, the drone strikes are a good thing in America when this whole situation with Christopher Dorner started because of the L.A. Police Department, how corrupt they are, the, the thin blue line where they won't um, tell the truth about a police officer that has done something wrong. Christopher Dorner uh, obviously told the truth. It's, it's pretty obvious if you look at who this man was that he's lost his shit. He went over the edge. But prior to that, he lived by a code, and he told the truth. And for telling the truth on a, on a, on another fellow L.A. police officer that was uh, politically connected, you know, well respected, and been there for a while by the other police officers, uh, Dorna lost his job, and this 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 other person, this other female, was promoted. Um, and you know, it it just shows you how things work in this country, and the problems that exist with the Los Angeles Police Department, and now you want to give them this L.A. Police Department that just just shot up a bunch of people because they they thought that they might be doing or when they weren't, a couple of women actually delivering newspapers, working. The L.A. Police Department shot up their car. Look at the pictures online. The L.A. Police Department is out of control. They're the reason that this happened. Our foreign policy is out of control. They're, that Our foreign policy is the reason why they're a terrorist. We are causing these these incidents, and for some reason the solution is more the same but even worse. We want to use drones in America now. 
We want to. We want to. You know, with no oversight. Who's when? When? When the drones start attacking Anonymous? Because Anonymous is is a political. You know, a, a political idea, an idea. It's something that's been created, and uh, Anonymous. Some factions of Anonymous have declared war in the U.S. Justice Department. Now, I talk about you know Anonymous. I promote them. I um, cover their cover their activism. Am I now going to be a target with no oversight, with no trial, because I'm working with an enemy of the state? Is 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 that what we're coming to? Is that is that what you want to give the powers that be? You want to give them all the power to do this? I'm going to come back to that. Like uh, the Los Angeles Police Department, we shouldn't be having the discussion whether we should give the Los Angeles Police Department the the ability to have drone strikes. We should be asking the question: Do we want to disband? the Los Angeles Police Department and replace it with a new department or maybe it's privatized, maybe it's community run, some other form. I, I mean, I think a lot of us would rather have uh, a different group of people in there start over with Los Angeles Police Department. You know, I mean, do we want to give that? Maybe we need to take away their guns. You know, I mean, we're talking, maybe we need to take away their training. They created Christopher Dorner. Do we need more Christopher Dorners out there? Maybe we should uh, have a police department that actually helps their uh, police officers and doesn't kick them out for telling the truth. Maybe we should have a police department that gives people uh, counseling um, after the job and after the training because they are well trained and they are very dangerous individuals if they were, choose to be. Maybe we should give them some mental health counseling when you've uh, fired them for telling the truth. Maybe you should give them some support. I mean, these are the questions we should be asking, not whether we should give drones to the L.A. Police Department.